<laughs> All right, Bill. Uh, Paul here and Taylor. Hello. And uh, I just want to show you the um, new planks on the transom. Uh, you can see the ribbon stripes of the planks. Uh, of course, we have to we have to bung this. We have to ferret and uh, and uh, we've got to bleach it before we add color. And oh, by the way, we've got the decks of the boat already to uh, uh, add the add the color these are all ready so uh, anyhow uh, getting back to what we found back here so we're putting this plank on remember we put the second plank on because of flat sawing and because it's really difficult to get the exact measurement of the plank between the between these two seams because especially if what was up there originally was not parallel to start with. So then, you know, if they're parallel, that's one thing, but they weren't quite parallel. So anyhow, but anyway, the uh, disturbing thing uh, that I want to show you, that disturbed us anyway, because um, we don't like delivering bad news to a customer or even less than, you know, well, anyway, we, we just don't like, it's no fun. So anyhow, here we go. Uh, we're taking off plastic uh, down here under the waterline, and uh, so we'll pull the plastic off, the drop cloths back, and so forth. And my son noticed, and I don't know if you can see it in this video right here, to make this stand out, I'm going to show you, I'm going to put a straight edge against this bottom. And uh, what you'll see is, uh, if I get it right is you've got a, a gap. Um, I actually need a light on the back side of this, Taylor. If you can put a light on the back side. Anyway, so this plank is actually doing this number. It's coming in. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Now we can see the light sure. on the back side. So there's a gap right here. And I'm running my finger past through it. And that's probably 3 16th of an inch from the straight edge to the low point in this plank. So now, yeah, turn your light back. See the... Turn your light back there again, like it was even that. So you can see this crease now. And uh, so inside, go ahead and show them the inside. So inside, it looks like. Oh, well, we really can't tell what the hell they did inside. Uh, almost, almost looks like a relief cut, or maybe they put the. Uh, the, those lines, maybe he was going to put the plank on the other direction, and that was the bootstrap line. But either way, those lines are way too big. So, anyways, it's busted. It's the bottom line, and it's busted in there. We can't get the thing to focus. It's uh, that's where it's cracked and pulled in. Now, another thing we noticed too that there wasn't a gusset put on. Some of these have quarter inch gussets quarter inch plywood which is uh really too thin uh, we usually do at least a half inch but um so there's no gusset on the transom bow to the transom post and then also when we were pulling these planks off they just had a little bead of 5200 instead of spread out a lot of times we or not a lot of times, every time that we do this, put a bottom on or a plank on 5200, we like to see what we call squozage, which is 5200 that squeezes out between the plank and the uh, frames. And that way we know that we are completely sealed up and that is a waterproof layer. Um, you, there's, without any pockets to hold water. Yeah, without any pockets to hold water. So really you don't have a waterproof layer um, between it's there. Didn't come so, from the dip test, but basically, if they're making pockets of water back between the factory and the plant. Say it again, I can't hear in there. I said uh, it passed the dip test. You know, we didn't have any leaks when we dipped it. But if you have a, if you have not completely filled the area between the transom bow, the structural member, any structural member, and the uh, plank, then you've made a place for water to accumulate and become a pocket and be a rod pocket. So uh, you will have water in the bottom of your boat. Just for example, you will have water, water in the bottom of your boat because you have a packing gland and it's got a leak to lubricate the shaft. 
So when you're going to get a little layer of water in this boat, when you put it up on end, you put it up on plane, water's going to go to the back. That water can go over the top of that transom bow, and I'll let him show you that gap again. Mm -hmm. But that water can go over the top of the transom bow, and it's going to get trapped back there, and that's going to be a place where, where rot starts. So go ahead and show him that gap again. And I'm going to drop something on the floor. Okay. Now you can see uh, from the frame right here, the frame's actually got... Uh, now give me something to stick in there. A putty knife. Uh, or a credit card. Alright. So anyways, there's a gap between the frame. Uh, so if we, you know, if we pull this plank off, we could actually... We could actually get rid of that gap. And then... So here's a credit card and it disappears about a good oh, half inch or three quarters of an inch disappears while I stick it in that's a water pocket and then right here is the same deal that's another water pocket and that's actually on the transom on the transom bow and uh, see how deep it is you've probably got an inch and that's a big water pocket to have below the water line. So, um, and actually, as I'm looking down through here, it looks like the transom bow has got a big, it's got a couple cracks in it. Well, yeah, unless they laminated. Okay. The first two layers must have been laminated. But the water pockets are a bad thing. Because they will they will lead to rot eventually. So next I gotta draw something on the board here. So let me draw something on the board. So if this is the back of your transom and uh, there is along the bottom of the transom, there's what's a structural member called the transom bow. And I think what they did is, oops, sorry, that was the red, cap of my red pin. I think what they did is this transom bow, which goes along the bottom here, is tilted in. And so when they put the screws in this plank, they, uh, and this plank then is you know, quite a bit higher than the bow. So they put the screws in this plank, they literally put a bow in the plank and it's cracked on the back side. So uh, that's what we were showing you pictures of. So we thought about putting a batten over that, but of course what we have is at the bow, uh, the bow being tilted this way, they still didn't get this drawn all the way in and where he's showing you this rot pocket is right in, right in this area right here. So is, is where the rot pocket is, where the water can go. Um, we looked, we racked your brain, I slept on it all weekend actually. Uh, thinking, trying to think of a cheap fix for this, and I don't see one. Uh, we really need to replace the plank. Um, so, um, you know, that's another. Well, uh, we, that's another five hundred dollars to a grand. Uh, we can leave it alone. We can replace these planks that we've got up here and leave that alone and address it at some later date. That is a possibility because again, this did pass the, this did pass the, uh, the water test, um, but. Um, I'll leave it up to you as to whether you want us to go ahead and remove this very bottom plank and just basically replace all the planks on the transom and do this uh, do this right in here uh, or if you uh, want to address it at a later date. Thank you, Bill.